Hey Slopers, this is Brian Johnson again with thestockminter.com. Back to do another video for you on this weekend before Turkey Week. And I got an idea actually from Tim. So thank you, Tim. He did something on the new ratio charts that are coming out in profit. And uh, as I was reading through it, I realized that he mentioned the uh, logarithmic. And I wanted to go over the difference. There are two different types of styles in charting that are most commonly used, and that is log, or they usually just call it non-log. So log or non-log. Really, what that is, is you either are using a logarithmic or an arithmetic scale to your charts. So for those of you that may not know the difference and how they can be used, um, this will be a, a, just a quick tutor tutorial on what that is. The logarithmic are basically, and what we're looking at, arithmetic or logarithmic are really based on these numbers over here to the right. This is called the y-axis. And on a logarithmic chart, that will refer to the change in price uh, from one to another based on its percentage change. So a change from $5 to $10 will look exactly like a change from $50 to $100 because they're both a 100% change. Usually what you'll see then is these numbers as they climb the scale start to get a little closer together as you get higher up just because of the percentage difference and that's how they're tracked. An, uh, an arithmetic scale is based off of um, an actual dollar move. So one to two dollars on a chart will look the same as uh, seven to eight dollars on a chart simply because they're both a one dollar move. So if you flip between log or non-log, you will get a little different view of a chart just based on the way it reports its data. So as we look at this one, this is Apple on a log scale. Pay attention to the right over here in these numbers, and this might be a little difficult to see, so you might want to pull it up on your own charts. But you'll see that as we get higher, the numbers tend to get a little closer together because the logarithmic is based off of the percentage change. Now, I mean, we can split hairs and... Technically, this is a semi-log because you have time down below, which is a little bit different, but I'm not going to you know, split hairs for this particular video. It's kind of outside the scope of what we're talking about here. So uh, just notice that as we move up, these numbers tend to get closer together. If I switch to an Apple non-log or an arithmetic scale, you can see that these numbers stay nice and even all the way up. They're evenly spaced from one point to the next, $10 between each move and a nice $10 uh, adjustment between each size of this chart. So how does this make a difference in our charting and how do we use them? Well, to be honest with you, I will use a logarithmic, typically for my longer term time frames and for my shorter term time frames as well, but I will switch to arithmetic on my shorter term time frames uh, in some cases. Otherwise, for all longer term, I like to use the log. Everybody has their own opinions and their own ideas. I'm just here to kind of give you a basic education on what the difference is and kind of show you real in a real life example here of what those differences can show you within a chart. So let's skip on and I will show you the Dow. This is a non-log view of the, of the Dow. If we go from the March low to the July low, notice how this bottom trend line never catches this other low back here. And if I run a uh, an upper trend line here, you can see that the Dow looks extremely bullish. This is very bullish behavior uh, from an arithmetic view. Now, if we go to a logarithmic view, look what a difference that makes. If we connect March to July, we have already broken out of it once and we're retesting it again for the second time. So you can see that uh, from a scaling standpoint, it really does make a big difference in what our charts look like. So now if we just move on, I'll quickly show you what the other charts look like. Here's the NASDAQ. This is a log. You can see us cut right through here. We are way out underneath that line. A non-log shows we are very close to that line and actually just left it again. We were just above it and now we've left it again. If we look at the SPX on a daily, this is, look, notice how far away we've come from this trend line. Just connecting March to July and running it up and through. If we go to a non-log scale, 
Look at that. We're actually sitting right on top of that line. So very different views on very different charts. And we can have a big discussion. It's kind of a, a Democrat Republican discussion here on who or what's the best chart to use when. Uh, I hope you guys at least notice the difference. I hope that helps you understand the difference between a logarithmic and an arithmetic. <laughs> I get almost tongue tied saying them, let alone showing you. Uh, them. So depending, it really boils down to what's your view. If you're bearish on the markets, you probably favor the log. If you're bullish on the markets, you of course favor the non-log. In either case, you're always watching support and resistance, basing your trades off of that, finding the most defensible places to do that at. So I hope this helps. Another quick video for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back again soon with another one. Thanks. Bye.